When it comes to hotels, luxury is soaring to new heights. Separate wings for children, private elevators, and rooftop patios. For the ultra-rich, merely booking the presidential suite is not enough. Hotel managers say it's a residence they're seeking. Their home is stunning. Their home is beautiful. They have, you know, beautiful TVs in their bathrooms. They have, um, you know, private st staff at their own residence. And when they travel, they wish to have uh, the same services and creature comforts than they do at home. At the Rosewood London, for $42,000 oh, wow. a night, you also get your own butler. That's very important to clients, to guests in suites like this, that they have one point person to speak to that can sort of coordinate their life for them. That life, whether on holiday or business, takes place across a sprawling layout in elite destinations. In this case, this is the children's wing, and you can, you can even tell by the decoration at the end of the hallway here. Um, Last year, the Four Seasons in Vail added the word residences to its official title, accommodating a global clientele. It's different today. The, the, uh, the station wagon is now a private jet. The master suite runs about $15,000 a night for six bedrooms. Oftentimes there might be 14 uh, members of an extended family here. Our average rates uh, during season are over $1,000 per room. Uh, so it all of a sudden starts to make sense when you have six bedrooms and you can fit everybody into one residence that this actually does become a value. When it comes to the wealthiest travelers post-recession, excess now appears to be back in style. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.